So when you think about worship guitar tone, the two main effects that probably come to mind are delay and reverb. And while you can get so many different tones out of just those two effects, one effect that I think doesn't get talked about as much is modulation, and specifically one that can give you a bunch of texture and movement to your tone is tremolo. And tremolo is one of my favorite effects to use to add texture and just kind of movement to an ambient part or a big lead part. So today we're taking a look at the Cusack Tap Whirl. And the Tap Whirl is an analog tap tremolo that gives you a ton of different controls over the sound that you can get out of it. It can go from just an amazing simple trem sound all the way up to unique creative stereo textures. What's up everyone, welcome back to Sunday Tone. I'm Brendan and if you are enjoying these videos and you wanna see more videos just like this one, make sure you subscribe to the channel and make sure you are following Sunday Tone over on Instagram. So about 10 years ago, I got my first tremolo pedal and I went ahead and I put it on my pedal board and immediately it became kind of one of my favorite effects to use. It's not something that I would use all the time, but when I used it, I just had a ton of fun and I love the sound that I got out of it. It just has such a vibe and such a texture that it can add to your sound. And tremolo can be used in a bunch of different ways, whether it be kind of a slow vibey sound or kind of really fast stuttery sound. And that's why when Cusack reached out to me and asked if I'd like to try any of their guitar pedals, I immediately knew I wanted to try the Tap Whirl. The Tap Whirl is really the ultimate tremolo pedal when it comes to ins and outs and all of the features like ramping and presets. It kind of has it all and you can use it in a bunch of ways. So let's take a look. So to quickly give you the layout and some of the features of this pedal, let's start with the ins and outs and it has both stereo in and stereo out, which is really nice to have in a pedal like this. That means you can place it anywhere in your signal chain, whether you want it at the end or you want it somewhere in the middle. And it's just nice for that flexibility. I know there's some other tremolo pedals that are only mono in, stereo out, or they're just mono in general. So one of my favorite things about the Tap Whirl are the foot switches, and it's kind of unique to this pedal. You have a ramping foot switch on the left and right, so it allows you to ramp down the speed and ramp up the speed, and there's a bunch of controls that you can have over how that works using this option knob. So you can control the speed that it comes in and out at, you can control whether it holds at that speed or fades back down to the original speed. There's a bunch of control that you can get with these foot switches. In addition, you have this foot switch in the middle that is for tap tempo. So if you wanna tap in your speed, you can do that. And you have a bunch of control over the divisions of the tap tempo. So if you want it to uh, double, triple, uh, dotted eighth, any of that kind of stuff, you can do that with a tap on this pedal. In addition, you have a bunch of banks of presets. So in each bank, you have a left preset and a right preset. And so if you wanna save presets and have a bunch that you can scroll through, you can hold down the left and right buttons to scroll through those presets. So looking at the controls across the top, we have a couple of different things. Starting on the left, we have an option knob. And the option knob allows you to set the tap divisions. It lets you set the brake speed and how the pedal ramps up and down. And then next you have a level knob that allows you to kind of set the volume of the pedal. So if you want it to boost your signal a little bit when you step on the pedal, you can do that. And then next you have a rate control that controls the speed of the tremolo. So if you want to do that manually and get really fast or really slow speeds, you can do that with that knob. 
And below that, you have this stereo phase knob. So if you're using the pedal in stereo, this can uh, affect where the tremolo is sitting between the left and right speakers. So if you want it to be kind of a mono tremolo down the middle, you can use this to affect that, or if you want the sound to kind of pulse and pan between the two speakers. And next you have a depth control that allows you to control the depth and kind of the mix of the tremolo and how strong it is. And finally, on the right, we have this knob that controls the different waveforms in this pedal. And it is just a ton of different wave shapes that you can use. You can see here on the pedal, uh, and I've never really used a tremolo that has this many different sounds. Usually you get a couple that you can select through, maybe like a sine wave, a square wave, and maybe one other thrown in. But this just gives you a ton of different options for textures and different stereo sounds that you can get out of the pedal. And there's really some things you can experiment and just get different textures out of it. So that's what I really love about this pedal as well. All right, so I have the pedal down on my board now, and I'm gonna demo how it sounds for you, and I'm gonna show you how the foot switches work to ramp the sounds down and ramp the tremolo up. It's kind of really unique that you have these two different foot switches that in the moment you can ramp the pedal down or ramp it up depending on how you wanna use it. So quickly, let me show you how you can navigate presets on this pedal. If you hit the left foot switch along with the middle foot switch at the same time, you can cycle through the banks of the pedal. And in each bank, you have two presets, one on the left and one on the right. So this is what that looks like. So that is an example of some of the standard kind of basic trem sounds that you can get out of the tap oral. But next, let's take a look at some of the more creative and unique kind of stereo textural sounds that you can get out of the pedal and what those sound like.
So after using this pedal for the last couple of weeks, I really think it's one of my favorite tremolo pedals I've ever used. And specifically, I really love analog tremolo. Maybe it's all in my head, but it always just seems more warm and kind of thicker than using some of the digital tremolos that I've used, kind of like in the HX pedals or some of the other multi-effects tremolos that I've used in the past. And just the feature set that it has kind of makes it the ultimate tremolo pedal, like I said before. Uh, just the ramping is really cool, and the way that you navigate the presets is really easy and straightforward. I've used some other uh, analog tremolos in the past, like the Gravitas, which I had for a really long time that I really liked. And those, I just wasn't able to navigate the presets as easily as this. So if you're looking for an awesome tremolo that has every option you could ever want in a tremolo pedal, this is the one to look at. You know, I'm definitely gonna be putting this on my board and using it for a while because it just sounds awesome a bunch of flexibility with it, and it's just really fun to play around with. So let me know what tremolo pedals that you all have been using. Let me know how you use them and what different ways you use them for leads or for rhythm. Curious to know, and I'm curious to know if you have any questions about the Tap Whirl and the features that it has. It really does have a ton of different things that you can do with it and ways that you can set it up. So if you have any questions, comment below and let me know. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel and I'll see you all in the next one.